To import text from a notepad into your database, you want to make sure that the data inside your notepad is set up correctly. For example, I'm going to pull up my notepad here, and you can see up at the top I've got my headers for each column. Now, it's not automatically lined exactly. I mean, you've got the address over here for the header for all the addresses fields down below, and what it has is it's called delimiters. In other words, what's separating this field, the address, from the next field for square footage? The delimiter is actually a tab. So if I hit tab, it bumps it over into the next field. But instead, what we want to do is either have tab, well, tabs in between our fields, so when we import it into Access, it'll separate by each tab into each cell. So it's going to put this in its own cell. It's going to see the delimiter, a tab space here, or a tab, and put the next one into its own cell, and so forth. So you can use tabs, or you can use commas as delimiters, and make sure that you put commas in between each one that's going to have its own cell. Another delimiter is a semicolon, and also you can use spaces. But to keep it fairly simplistic, use a semicolon, a comma, or even better yet, use a tab. Once you have that set up, I'm going to close out. I'm not going to save it. And then all I have to do is select File to Open, find the text or the notepad, double-click on it, and you can see it's going to ask me, choose the file type that best describes your data. It's going to be delimited or a delimiter because all my cells or in the notepad is separated by tabs and not by semicolons or commas, but in any case it's going to be a delimiter. I'm going to click next and then it wants me to define that delimiter. Now remember it's by tab. If I uncheck the tab, look how it bunches up down below because it doesn't know how to separate the information unless I say it's going to be by space, which isn't a good idea at all because the address begins at 126 space bush space lane. So you can see how it, important it is to set this up correctly in your notepad before you import. So I'm going to select tab, uncheck space, click next. The format for each column, I can keep it general, or I can say for the bedrooms, maybe I want it in text format, a date format, month, day, year. Basically, if you leave everything alone and just click finish, you'll get the best format, which is the one you had originally in your notepad. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.